What's going on, fellas? Welcome to the uh, week four recap show and the week five uh, projection show. I'm going to try to get it all done in one video this week. Um, I'm your commissioner, Richie Guns Fox, and uh, I'm going to jump right into it. A, uh, a trade has occurred. Uh, Matt McFadden posted earlier today that he was looking for a, uh, a good, uh, a decent running back for one of, his, one of his plethora of receivers, and so I, uh, you know, texted him, and uh, he got J.H.I. and Corey Clement, so the Eagles backfield, and I got Juju Smith-Schuster in return uh, for my matchup with Brian, so that when Juju scores continuously against the Falcons this weekend, Brian can sit there and cheer, but at the same time knows that there will be fantasy points coming my direction. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, we're going to talk about it. Uh, re we're going to recap week four. Uh, Bobby won. Uh, it was probably the best matchup of all time. Best matchup I've been involved in. Just sadly, I was on uh, the wrong end of it. Uh, Cooper Cup and Kirk Cousins scored somewhere around 60 to 65 points, uh, you know, after Thursday Night Football, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I just won that game, um, and my other players didn't do bad either, I ended up with 148.5 points, Bobby fought back, you know, he had 103 points, and then it came down to Monday Night Football, came down to the last play of the game, Kareem Hunt scores the game-winning touchdown, Kareem Hunt scored the dagger. Actually, technically, that fucker Harrison Butker with his extra point was the dagger. Uh, and Bobby defeated me 149.4 to 148.5. Um, thankfully, that wasn't like to win the league because I probably wouldn't have talked to anybody ever again. That would have been it. Um, anyway, so... Uh, I moved to two and two. Bobby goes to three and one, man, and he's definitely getting that number one spot in the power rankings this week, man. He fantastic, fantastic game. Uh, either one of us would have beaten anybody else, but that's how the fucking cookie crumbles, you know. Sometimes you just play the wrong guy on the wrong week, and that's what happened to me. So uh, anyway, I move on to the next game. I can't believe I got through that without getting emotional or crying because um, I kind of—I'll be honest with you—I. I broke down a little bit after that loss. It was rough. Uh, all right, so next game, uh, the Book of Ezekiel, Matt McFadden taking on Mr. Russo, Big Papa Russo and Team Suckass. Uh, oh, also, sorry, I do this once in a while. The game before, I, pre I predicted myself to lose, so no one to blame but myself. Um, okay, so you got Matt McFadden and the Book of Ezekiel versus the Suckass and Matt McFadden. Uh, dominated this matchup 125.8 to 95.4, and he's only made his team better by getting a good running back. So uh, that's good. So uh, yep, I, like I said before the week, Matt had Matt had the better matchups, and uh, unfortunately it wasn't uh, Papa Russo's week this week. So both teams will go to two and two. Next matchup, we got the big uh, Shane in those big ass TDs. Uh, versus and defeating Scott's Tots. Uh, unfortunately got this game wrong. Uh, I, I thought I thought Chris was gonna be able to get this one, but I don't even think it was fucking close. I uh, no it was alright, it was pretty close. 101.7 to 92.3. Uh, Chris sustained a couple further injuries in this game, including Leonard Fournette, and then I may or may not have snagged uh, TJ Yeldon off of the waiver wire. Um anyway. So uh Yep, so Shane and those big ass TDs moved to three and one, and I continue to doubt him, and he continues to tell me to go fuck myself, and Scott's Tots will go to one and three, and he is in trouble. He's got a couple players on the up and up, but he's got some injuries he's got to get over and some bye weeks, which I'll talk about later on. All right, and our other and our next matchup, I'm a, I'm excited. I'm excited to announce this one. Because you got James Hanshu and Paula Dean's Nigs. Versus Team Mitchcraft, and uh, I projected James to, you know, take his 0-3 and, and get a win, and he did it. The man did it, 121.2 to 112.3. Not a bad matchup. Brian definitely held his own, had a pretty decent week, but James was able to pull this one out. Um, so, 
I got another one right, moves me to three and one, and I'm happy to see James having some success um, and see if he can keep that going this week. We'll see. And then in our final matchup, this was the blowout of the week. And I'll be honest, Steve, I I'm not going to fuck with you too much, man. I had a bad week. I'm not sure if you caught any highlights of the Bears game, but you're not going to see the Bucks much in it. Unless it's like Jameis Winston on the sideline or Jameis Winston going in the game. God damn, they got dominated. And so and I know the Jets didn't do well. And sorry you had to see that in person, but at least you got to go see a game, buddy. But uh, fuck, dude, you got fucking dominated, my friend. 113.5 to 55.8. Steve was on a hot streak coming in 2-0. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, his team's starting to catch up with him a little bit. And that's when the Patriots scored 38 points. So not necessarily if the Patriots do well, is Steve's team going to dominate. It's got to go to the right players. And this week, Gronk went out in like halftime because they were up by so much. said, Nat, you can stay out. Um, you know, so uh, Brady had himself a decent game. But Steve, you know, he's lacking running backs. And then, Dal you know, Dalvin Cook only played a half of football. And we don't know what his status is going to be. So right now, that trade that him and Matt did isn't looking so great. But... Steve moves to two and two, you know, just like the Bucks, man. It looks bad. Actually, you kind of are the Bucks in this scenario. Like Ron was the Bears, and you were the Bucks, and um, you know, you and look, they moved. He moved to three and one, and you moved to two and two. It's not over. You could still do it. You know, you just don't. You know, you don't have very good defense, or in this case, good offense either. But you know what, man? Just you know, keep keep trucking. You, you keep going, man. But uh, yeah, you know, uh. You drafted a kicker in the fifth round. I got nothing else to say. All right, so instead of cutting this video, I'm just going to keep on going. You know, I don't want you guys to have to load up too many different videos and stuff. I'm going to make it easier for you. I'm doing this all for you. So let me load up. Oh, and I did pick Ron to beat you, so that moved me to 4-1 and one on the weekend. Let's see. This, where does that move me for the season? Hold on one second. Let me pull that up. A little brief timeout, if you will, like an intermission. So I was nine and six. I just went four and one. That'll bring me to thirteen and seven, right? Good math. Thirteen and seven. So I'm uh, I'm back on it. I kind of wish I was like twelve and eight, and I would have won the game. Thanks, Bobby. You fuck. But it's all good, you know. <laughs> Shit happens. Shit definitely fucking happens. You motherfucker. All right. All right. So let's get into our. Our game of the week for week five, man. I can't believe it's week five already. We're starting to get uh, more of an idea, um, you know, where everyone's lying. Let's look, take a quick look at the playoff bracket. You got Bobby, top spot at number one, myself at number two, even though I'm two and two. Just everyone in my division lost last week. Everyone who's in my division lost the game. So I didn't lose any ground, but I definitely didn't gain any. But you got Shane. He's looking stout. Ron, looking good, man. Ron has a great-looking team. He's hanging in there. Matt, as always, always brings a good team. And Mr. Russo bringing it up with the sixth spot, that final playoff spot. So it's starting to become a battle. You're starting to uh, you know, get the good teams. You're starting to figure out who the bad teams are. But I still, I got to say, I, 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 it, it's anyone's game, you know. No one has a bad team. Uh, just things got to go your way at this point. So, All right, sorry not to waste any more of your time. In our game of the week, I hate to do it, but the man has to be in it again. It's Kareem Pie, Bobby Jarvis, getting the game of the week again, second week in a row, versus Ron Sag and Team Killshot. Uh, thank you for keeping your team name the same. Uh, less confusion for me. And let's uh, let's go ahead and let's analyze this game a little bit. Um, definitely some tough matchups that I'm noticing here for Bobby. Uh, I mean, he still has Alvin Kamara, so he's probably going to win the fucking thing. But you got the tough game, and, and then that's going to be the Chiefs going up against Jacksonville. And that is where I'm going to actually say that Ron is going to win this matchup. Ron's going to go to 4-1, and one, and Ron's going to be in first place of the entire league. That is my bold prediction. He's got a bunch of good matchups. Yeah, he has got I think he's got a couple people on bye week like Jordan Howard who actually did horrible for him last week. But um I just I like the matchups better. 
I like the matchups better. But and then on top of that, Kamara is gonna have to split the backfield with Mark Ingram, who's on my team. Uh and I think that where it's gonna save his body is actually going to hurt you in fantasy football. So um he, not that he's not gonna score some points, but he's definitely not gonna score thirty six like he did on me last week, that motherfucker. Not to mention I don't know if Will Fuller's gonna play in this game. Anyway, sorry, I analyzed that game for a long time. But yes, I I think Ron's gonna win that game against Bobby in our game of the week. In our next matchup, you have myself, the Double Orgasm Knights, at 2-2, two and two, going up against Brian and Team Mitchcraft. As of right now, it has me projected for victory at 112-92. to 92. Let's kind of go over the game real quick. I'm noticing some good matchups on both sides. You got the obvious one of Big Ben Roethlisberger. You got... Uh, and Julio Jones, and that that's gonna that game's gonna have like 80 points in it. Neither team knows how to play defense right now, so you know both of those players are gonna have big weeks. I just think, I mean, I because I have uh, Juju also in that game. I have uh, John Connor, whatever his name is, in that game. Uh, I just think I, I think we both have really good matchups. I just think I have better players to be honest with you. So I'm actually gonna pick myself to win uh, in this matchup. So. But I do think Brian's going to score some big points here. His matchups are fantastic. So we will see. We will see. And I see he's got Patrick Mahomes on the bench, but you can't. You're probably not going to start him over Big Ben, um, considering he's going up against Jacksonville and Big Ben's got Atlanta. And you are a Steelers fan, so I don't see you doing that. All right. So I'm going to pick myself to win that game, though. In our next matchup, this is going to be an interesting one right here. You got Scott's Tots, Chris Russell, one and three versus Big Papa Russo, Big Dick Mike Russo over there. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I just pictured your dick in my mind. It's so beautiful. Um, my God, you're such a beautiful man. Scott's Tots, one and three. Team suck ass. Uh, thank you, Breezes, from what I remember. Uh, two and two. Big, Russo, Big Papa Russo, let's blow this game up. Let's see what we got. Projection right now actually has Chris Russell winning. Let's see if I agree. Aaron Rodgers, good matchup. Sony, uh, yep, Sony Michelle's got a good matchup. Mike Williams, I'm not sure if that's a good starter, but it looks like that might be your best option. If you're going to play Jacksonville against Kansas City, that is a toss-up. They might do good. They, I don't know. I'm gonna pick Big Papa Russo in this one. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm. You know what? I think this might be the first video I've actually picked you to win, and I'm glad I get the chance to do it. Drew Brees is gonna go up against Washington on Monday Night Football. He's gonna have a great game. Edelman's return against Indy Thursday night. I like it. I like it. Devonta Freeman's coming back off injury. You're getting your team back. You know, you're adding players. And actually, Chris, you are not. You are minusing players. This week, Mike Evans is on bye week. Not that that's a, like necessarily a bad thing, but just for this week it is. You know, you could trade him to somebody. You could trade him to me. I don't know. Whatever. Just let me know if you want to trade me Mike Evans. I'll take him off your hands. I'll give you something good for him, you know. Uh, Leonard Fournette, he's out for at least two weeks. Uh, with his hamstring injury, and I don't think his uh, backup is available on waivers. Some fucking asshole took him. Um, but that asshole would be willing to trade you probably if you were to want to do that. O.J. Howard also on bye week, also injured. So Gio Bernard's not going to be the starter anymore. I'm just going to – not that you have bad matchups, Chris, but Mr. Russo just has better matchups. I'm going to pick Mr. Big Papa Russo in this matchup to win. All right, in our next matchup. You got 13 minutes and 50 seconds in. This is like ESPN. Like this is like NFL Network. I think I'm better than those guys. Seriously, like I'm like Adam Schefter. You know, if you really think about it, you know, yeah. Except like obviously better looking. Um, anyway, uh, James Hanshu, Paula Deans, Niggs, one and three, getting their first win going up against Matt McFadden in the Book of Ezekiel. Let's blow this motherfucker up and let's see who I picked to win. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, James, Kansas City defense, okay. I'm not – you know what? You keep doing your thing there. They scored – okay, so the Kansas City defense scored five points. They had negative two. They, I mean, they did amazing. They did unbelievable. Keep them in there. I mean, fuck it. They're going against Jacksonville. They're terrible. So keep them in. It's working for you. 
Um, you got some good matchups, but I see T.Y. Hilton in your starting lineup, and he is injured. He is not going to play. So if you did not know that, now you know. you got to get him out of there. Trey Burton's on a bye week. Do you even have a backup tight end? No. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, nope. You have a great bench, but none of them play the position of tight end. Um, so you are going to have to go to the waiver wire, and it's not pretty over there. Um, yep, Matt, you just have the better matchups, so I, I, and you have the better players right now. I'm going to go with Matt McFadden uh, in the book of his ego to win this matchup. Uh, he's got Rivers going up. Oh, yeah, he's got Rivers and Allen. They're due. No, Mal, Allen's due. I think Rivers has been getting it. Uh, Reed coming off a bye against New Orleans, who I don't think they play defense. Uh, Brandon Cook's been on fire. Elliott, I can mean, see him. He kind of hit himself in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Matt. And he picked up Cairo Santos, the Rams kicker. But man, it's quick, man. He, he knows his Rams. You know, he's he's like, oh, they signed Cairo Santos. Fuck it, I'll pick him up. Got a good feeling. So, all right. So I picked the book of Ezekiel to win this one. Uh, you know, not that James is going to do bad. You know, I think he'll have an okay week, but I think Matt just has the better matchups. So in our final game of the week, you got oh, what a matchup this is. You got Paul Arks. Oh, I just fucking did that one. My bad. There it is. Steve, the frat master flex, the Italian meat stack. Steve, pimp daddy Friday, fresh off his 55 point week. Going up against Shane and them big ass TDs. Um, so I was doing this thing where I just wanted to pick against Shane every single week. There was no real reason for it. Um, he just, you know, he just kept. He said something on text like, "Keep doubting the big ass TDs," and I just want to. I really, really, really do. And I was gonna pick against Shane, but I just fucking can't. That's how confident I am that Steve or that Shane is going to win. Uh, this matchup, uh, I think I think the Patriots are going to have a decent game against Indy, but I don't think Indy is as bad as people think. I think it's Thursday Night Football, and that's a weird kind of matchup. And he just has all the Patriots in, and if it, the ball does not find these specific players, he doesn't score points. He has Dalvin Cook. Is he even going to play? Um, Mike Thomas... I, you know, he had an off week. I don't suspect that's going to happen again. I, I definitely think he'll have a strong week. Steve's best pickup was that Tennessee Titans defense. They're going up against Buffalo. That's a great matchup. So good job there by Steve. Um, got them going. But I just think you look over at Shane's team, he's got an all-around just solid team. Matt Ryan going up against Pittsburgh. He has been on fire this year, and Pittsburgh can't play defense. I mean, holy fuck. That's gonna that game's gonna have like seriously eighty combined points at least. Melvin Gordon, another great matchup. Antonio Brown's in that game, um, and the Atlanta defense can't do much more. Tyreek Hill has a bad matchup, but fuck it, I still think I still think big ass TDs is coming on top. So Shane, you got your wish, but I'm picking you to win. Don't fucking disappoint me. Eighteen minutes and twenty seconds. Eighteen minutes and twenty seconds. This has gone on, and it's gonna go on a little bit longer. All right, because I'll tell you when I'm done, you know, if I had commercials, this would have been like an episode of NFL live or fantasy live on ESPN or something. 30, this would, I could easily have stretched this out to 30 minutes. I can do it without commercials. I can tell you guys how my day has been, how much I cried after my loss on Monday night, you know, whatever, but, <sighs> All right, well, that about wraps it up. And, uh, yeah, good luck in week five. Uh, you know, 